welcome to my very first review. It is of the Silvercrest USB Video Grabber, which is the capture card that I use for recording like Mario Kart 64 runs. Basically every run that isn't recorded off the VCR. I've got it out here. This isn't meant to be an unboxing, this is meant to be a review. And this is the package that it comes in. So I'll just show you what's in the box quickly and I'll get to my setup. So it comes with an extra AV fin, it comes with a table, an extension lead I think that is. Yeah. No, that's an aerial. Hold on, my, I'm bad with the camera. An, a, an AV extension which I've got plugged into my VCR and a USB extension. I've just got mine around. Somewhere. That's just the same. That's what's in the box. This bit interests me. So... They intend Silvercrest, the manufacturers, intended for this to be used for converting VHS tapes to a digital format so you can preserve them for the future. But this can also be used for consoles. If I zoom out a bit, it says up to 25 images per second. They're talking about 25 frames a second, which is PAL 50 Hz. USB 2.0 for optimal recording quality with up to 25 images per second. That's 50 hertz. So this capture card technically can't do 60 hertz because obviously not everybody had a 60 hertz TV at the time. So, but it can do NTSC though. And I will end the video with some demos because I've got requests requested from Andrew 859. So this is the disc. It comes with PowerDirector 7, but I've got PowerDirector 9 installed, so I can just leave that alone. Manual. Well, this is a tutorial on how to set up. Obviously, this has been opened for about 15 years, so... As I said, it's not an unboxing. Just wanted to show the box so you know what you're getting. And, once that's finished, I can move over to my setup. A slight upgrade to my camera, obviously, because I need it to show the setup. So if I go up to the top, you can see GameCube, obviously, that should be your power supply and your AV lead. Obviously the tube's on. This, this is the AV lead to the SNES, so I want to move down. So this is the AV lead to the GameCube, and it should go straight. No, obviously you just plugged it straight into the dash card, but obviously, the 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 gameplay on the the broadcasting software OBS Power Director whatever you use it's gonna be a lot laggier than it is on the screen, which is why I you should want to use a splitter of some kind. A VCR, a good old VCR is fine, as it goes straight into the front of the VCR, and that's what I use for MPDD videos currently as well. With this particular tape. Then. VCR actually acts like a splitter, so I can get in, there should be like, I know if you can't see, but see where my hand is, that there's a start cable here, which comes over, so I can pull out of here, this fat leads to the start cable, and it goes straight to the back of the TV, which I can't reach, I'll put up a diagram for future reference, to make things clearer, not a screwdriver or anything like that, but, but, that's how I plug my game to the TV, but somewhere along here, I can feel it, but I don't know if you can see it, there is an AV lead. The VCR is acting like a splitter. So I've actually, I think it was last year, I had it where I plugged this GameCube up, this GameCube, hey, you can see all my other cameras. this GameCube, try not to stay too off topic, that was plugged into this TV and this TV, which obviously I use for my Wii and Wii U, as shown here. But, I'm using it to plug it to the TV and the capture card. And obviously the capture card goes straight into the computer. If I can reach it, straight into the computer. And obviously you need to load up your software. Just a little diagram to show before I get into the fin. The console, or whatever VC, or whatever you want to record, goes. It connects to the VCR via the AV, wherever you want. Then that the connection splits 
towards the TV and your computer. And to show how I split the connection, the SCART cable is used to connect to the TV and the AV connect to the capture card. Now to prep it up on the computer, prep the software up on the computer, first you want to install your video, video your program to record your capture card, if I will. I'm using PowerDirector Director because my computer is quite old. So how to install it? First you click on the trial and install it. Instructions are here. Then you install the product key and the key.txt. Then click on to update and install that, which will remove the trial. I've already done that off camera, so I suppose. After this, you want to grab your CD if you have one, or if your computer will let you. That will allow you to open the software that's inside and install the drivers. Because if you don't know, attached cards need drivers. Whilst that's wearing, I'll just connect my capture card to the computer. And the thing's just popped up. You want to click on driver, follow the instructions and install. And obviously this comes with PowerDirector 7, I've got PowerDirector 9. Uh, next, you want to open up PowerDirector. Or OBS, most people use OBS. Then the software's up. You want to click on to capture, because we're capturing footage. And if everything, and if ev you've done everything correctly, then it should show up on the thing. And obviously you can see on the little thing, my GameCube. And obviously I've only got one memory card. It's been a bit, been a bit pretty with my thing. If it doesn't show up, you might be doing it something wrong. And if you've done all the steps correctly, you should click onto settings, TV setup. And obviously it's on PAL I. You can, sometimes I click on NTSC, MJ and PAL I. That's the settings I use, but you can use anything. There's also obviously C cam for French people, but obviously I'm not French. And there's also 60 hertz. I found that 60 hertz is very, very buddy, and I will show that in the demonstrations. Obviously, it's. I think it's changing. Yeah, must be changing. Nope, still on the same thing. So let's click that. <coughs> After that. Well, thank you for watching. Please, please, please comment if this was successful or not. And if it did work, obviously like the video. And if it didn't, dislike the video. And I will try to help you in the comments. After this, now I'm going to show you some examples.
Woo! <laughs> 